Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're covering a troubleshooting guide for missing network adapters inside of Windows 11. If you're having this problem, it's likely that you recently upgraded or installed Windows 11, but this tutorial will be helpful regardless of the circumstance. And so hopefully by the end of this video, you will have your network adapters up to date. Before we get started with the tutorial, if you're interested in purchasing Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, Microsoft Office, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right guys, the first thing that we're gonna to try to do is simply just automatically update the network driver. It's likely that you've already tried this, but it's worth pointing out as a first step. We'll do Windows key and X together, and from here, select Device Manager. Once in here, click underneath Network Adapters. Here we can see we have network drivers for both Ethernet and Wi-Fi. We're gonna check both of them. I'll right click and select Update Driver. And we're gonna search automatically for drivers. Here we can see the best drivers are already installed. I'll repeat the process on the Wi-Fi. And again, they are already installed. If you're seeing this, we have a few other things to try, so don't worry. Next up, I'm gonna open up Google Chrome, and I'm gonna type in my search bar, Intel Download Center. We're gonna click the second link here after the sponsored link that says download Intel drivers and software. Going back into our device manager, we know that we have the Wi-Fi 6E. So I'll select the Wi-Fi 6E products. There's five of them. And we want the wireless Wi-Fi drivers for Windows 10 and for Windows 11. This is our link right here. And we'll click download to download the EXE. I'll accept the license terms and agreement. And our download is just about done here. Once downloaded, we would go ahead and open the installer. Select yes here on the pop-up until the end. And then the install will be completed. This is going to require a computer restart. I'm going to select no again because I already have the correct drivers in place. But you just follow along with the agreement through the end and restart your computer to make sure that the drivers are installed correctly. Next up, we have an option where we could reinstall the driver. To do this, inside of my device manager again, I would simply right click on both the Wi-Fi and Ethernet controllers here. And I would actually click uninstall device. Again, I'm going to hit cancel here, but you would proceed with this and you would restart your computer. Upon restarting your computer, you would be prompted to actually go ahead and install the network drivers. But if not, simply repeat the steps in part two. Again, we'd be running that exe file and that is how you properly reinstall the driver. Next up, let's go into our Windows settings. I'm gonna type in the search bar here, network reset. We'll see this little button here and we'll click on that. It's inside of network and internet and in the advanced network setting. I'll go back into the advanced network setting here and this is again going to require a restart, so I'm not gonna show it on camera, but you would just simply hit reset now. Okay, back inside of the settings here, we're gonna check for one more thing. As we can see, I have a pending Windows update. So we're gonna to want to install all, make sure you're up to date on the latest version of Windows. All right guys, so if you went through all of that and you're still facing issues, at this point we would recommend contacting and troubleshooting with Intel support to hopefully resolve your issue. If you have any questions about any parts of our process in this video, Drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. As our channel grows, we are looking to you guys for new video topics. So please feel free to comment any videos that you would like to see. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support our channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.